Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to a little breakdown about 1.12 for Elixir. What I wanted to go through today is, since I already did the integer module, I wanted to go over the enum module. Now, enum has gotten a couple of interesting functions. So let's say we have a list, let's say L, of 1, 2, 3, 4 of values. Uh, what you can do is there is a new function. So there's already a function called product, right? So you can stick a number of values in there. You can count them up. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is going to be 10. Well, there's another one that got added in, which is product. So basically just same thing, but instead of adding them together, you multiply. Uh, for me, I don't feel this is so useful. Maybe I need to go back and see why they actually added it. Because basically sum and product, I mean, are, are, are for if I understand correctly, are basically similar to just reduce, but yeah, you don't have to do all that kind of boilerplate. Um, but yeah, I think it's okay. I mean, I, I never had to do product stuff, but definitely for some, of course, I think that's good to have. It's a nice, useful function to have, but it was already there. Product is a new one, so you can just multiply all the values together. What else has been added is zip width. Uh, I didn't really get this one so much, but what I understand is that you can pass it a bunch of enumerables. So I can say one, two, and then, of course, another one of three, four. And then you have to give it a function. And I believe it would go like this. And then you can say x plus y. Area two called argument one, two. Uh, OK. To actually look this up. So, area of two called with one argument. So, something like this. Now, again, you can see I'm a little bit confused, but uh, I had to actually read the documentation quite a few times. Now, I do understand what's going on. Um, what is actually happening is that these are getting zipped together, right? So, it's kind of taking two is almost together. So what we did was we took uh, one and three together, and that came in as an as an uh, as a list over here. And so I just did x plus y, and so one plus three is of course going to give us four. And same thing over here, we take the two and we take the four. Two plus four again is six. That's why we have this four six. So it's almost like a reduce with a zip. Very interesting. Um, I can kind of think about how this could be useful, uh, but you know, I, I definitely saw people online saying that they did want to zip with. I believe zip with came from Haskell. Uh, I'm not too sure, but definitely people did talk about that this was in Haskell. They wanted an Elixir. Now it's here. Um, I would love to hear if you guys have a reason of why you want to use this, because this is still something a little bit new for me. As you can see, I, I kind of needed some time to kind of capture everything in my head. So that's how this works. Now, the other thing uh, that came in is uh, count until, right? So this one, I think, is actually useful. So usually you have to say, okay, the length of my list greater than 10, or is it less than 10, which it is. This is kind of nice, but again, remember, this is a list, right? So if I understand correctly, if you have to calculate the size of a list, you literally have to go from the head all the way to the tail. Now, the cool thing about enum.countUntil, uh, they have a couple different forms, right? So the first one is, I need to say, make sure that this is at least the size of two, right? And this is going to return a two value. And so what this is doing is saying, keep counting until you get to that value, right? And so you can start to calculate a list, right? So let's say, like, I want to make sure that this is going to be less than 10. Uh, so we basically want to stop counting until we get to 9. Or we can say, you know what, it has to be less than 10. So don't count anymore than 10. So if I have like 20 elements in here, only count until you get to 10. I definitely know that 10, you know, is going to be where things could become false. So I can just say stop counting once you get to 10 because I know that this is going to be bigger than that. And, you know, you're not going to have this kind of issue. So that's the really, really cool thing about this part. 
Now the other thing too is this one has actually another form and the form of this one is basically let me just double check to make sure I got this correct. Um, you can, yeah, so you can actually insert a function. So you can say, okay, count up to 10, right? But you can say, I only want to count, say, like the even numbers, right? So if this number So I can say if this number is even, right? So of course I can use it is even, but in this case, I'm just gonna use this kind of part. So what this will do is this has to actually pass true. This function actually has to pass to be true. And then we can start to count it, right? And in this case, there's only two, right? From one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I do this part, of course, there's just gonna be four. So it's because we had to eat odd, odd even numbers. This one I think will be quite useful, especially if you have a very, very long list and you want to say the length of this has to be at least something, you can just go through and count it rather than getting the whole entire length and then checking it, right? I think this will be extremely useful for people. I'm very happy to have this count until I can see this being used quite a lot, especially if you want to optimize your solutions. You don't want to go through a whole list if it's too big. You just want to say, is it at least so big or is it less than so big and i think that is really the uh, the key and also the fact that you can use uh filtering too i think is very interesting so at least have a, a number of elements which are you know larger than the number two whatever you know whatever it's up to you right but i think this is definitely a fantastic function to have and i very greatly welcome it so again we have count until again as you can see my favorite we have product which could be useful and we also have um, zip width. And zip width, I would love to hear again more if you guys have a good use for it. Uh, otherwise, you know, as I keep going through Elixir 1.12, I'm going to keep showing you guys things that I find. Uh, again, thank you so much for your time. And please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.